What if oil dropped to 20 or even $10 a barrel? That's probably not going to happen, but it could if oil companies run out of places to store their oil. Here's how. Storage problem number one. We're still pumping too much oil. Even after prices crashed by more than 50%, America's oil boom continues to flood the market. Most of that oil is transported to storage sites where it's held in tanks until it's sold. But investors are betting that prices are bound to go back up again. And that's creating storage problem number two. Investors are hoarding oil. If you think the price of oil is going to be higher in the future, it pays to store now and sell later. That's exactly what investors are doing. Oil storage is at its highest level ever. And that leads us to problem number three. It's maintenance season. Every year, refineries schedule repairs for spring. Refineries are where crude oil is turned into familiar products, like gasoline and jet fuel. So when refineries are offline, the oil has no place to go. The tanks keep filling. So, what are the chances the U.S. will max out its storage? Bloomberg Intelligence crunched the numbers from the past 10 years. If 2015 follows a normal pattern of planned maintenance, the two biggest U.S. storage hubs would use up no more than 86% of their capacity. No problem. But if there's a major unplanned refinery interruption, storage would truly run out. That's a crisis. If it happens, prices would drop rapidly, possibly to $20 a barrel or lower. Oil imports would decline first, followed by a slowdown in U.S. production. It's not like the U.S. would suddenly stop pumping, but oil below 20 bucks? That's uncharted territory.